Hi, it's Kelly here, and I am so excited about this video about bees and electric culture that I've left my face fuzzy in honor of the magnificent bees. There is a direct connection, it appears, between bees and electric culture. I've been looking at photographs of bees and listening to their, there's a vi videos out there of their frequencies, 150 hertz. And they say, some people say, I don't know what the science is behind it, but that sound uh, generates the hexagonal uh, combs of the bees, right? But I went and looked a little further, looking at the bees, and I noticed, oh my gosh, look at this, they've got sort of reddish and black stripes. Now there's like something like 260 varieties of bees, so there, there could be different colors, different variations, what have you. But this is extraordinary because when you look at the bees, they're just your everyday bees that I'm used to seeing. Uh, I was watching them on videos. They've got thick stripes and thin stripes, which uh, possibly could be like a, the Fibonacci type of uh, design, you know, thick ones and thin ones. And then if you look at them, the stripes on the one video I was watching, it's very hard to find pictures of the bottom sides of bees, you know, because th they don't, you know, they <laughs> they don't pose for photos. But um, the the red rings that go around, they don't go all the way around. They go around like this. On the bottom side, it's all a solid color, at least on some bees, apparently. And I'm not, it's not clear on the ones that have go all the way around if if it's solidly the same color going around it may I, I got the idea that possibly they have a you know here would be orange and then that would be black and then the black and the orange kind of alternating so you've got so you've got the Lakowski disc design going in two different directions all right and on some it's just solid color so They've got the design of the Lakowski multi-wave oscillator. And that's why they can fly, because, you know, we all focus on the wings and how fast they move and how they move, but they got to have a motor. Well, I'm proposing to you they've got an electric motor. You see, all those little furry, the fuzzy things on them, those are little miniature antennas coming down to the, you know, and and and, so, and then you've got this going around. Now they don't have copper in their body, um, at least in this part of their body, probably none of their body, because it would be too heavy. But they've got a red, and and I would imagine the frequencies are probably similar to creating that energy. And so they've got this design on it to to make the motor, to make it go, and then. You know, so copper is your conductor, but what about, where's the insulator? Their wings are made of chitin, C-H-I-T-I-N, chitin. And that's a, an insulator, that's like what you have in your fingernails, which is keratin, but it's simil very similar to that. And so, it's very thin, and it's got nerves and blood vessels running through all over the place and if you look really closely at the images of the wings um, have tiny little dark dots which might be little miniature power stations for the nerves going through there because they're like dot, dot 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 they're all over the place on the wings if you get a, a close enough picture so I'm, a lot of this is I'm sur uh, surmising but hey they do need a motor to fly, right? They can't just, something's got to flap those wings. And so in their body, and, and they have to be very light because they're flying, right? And, and they've got real skinny wings. So they've got their motor with their, cop no, it's not copper, but it's, it's, uh, it's red, and the frequency, the vibration of red would be, would be the similar, all the same, right? And then it has the black, that's pro it could be another source. It could be that they're going back and forth with the frequencies and the energy uh, to create to to in order to power their uh, their their wings. 
Isn't that fabulous? So is it any wonder that they would be attracted to copper when you've set up your electric culture? They're going to be attracted to it because it's the same as them. It's the same design. And if you use electric culture 2.0, you are putting those same frequencies right out into your entire garden or your entire farm, and you're, it's only taking a minute of labor to do it. Um, somebody came with a brilliant idea today. He wanted to make his own fan. He, he had a laser. He could cut copper, and he wanted to make a identical a thing with a fan. Uh, so the blades would be made of copper. But the copper, because there's only, like, say, five, five uh, blades on it, it wouldn't generate as much. It would still generate. It's still a great idea. Uh, but he could, if you want to take additionally, you can make the blades flat because it's easier to work with, and then to cut horizontal lines into the fan. So let's say, you know how a fan is kind of thin and then it gets bigger as you go up? And so we'll say that's, you know, that's connected to the center portion, right? The center portion where, you know, where the knob is, here where the knob is, and this is the blade coming out, right? Well, instead of cutting it lengthwise, cut them horizontally, and you could do it at, on a Fibonacci basis if you wanted to, although that's not critical. Um, and you can actually take a square piece of copper and, and put the, it cuts it into a certain degree in, you know, so it doesn't fall apart, and spin that. And then you've got the, cons the, cons the consideration of the points. You want to make sure it'll fit within the point, the longest distance will fit within your fan screen, whatever, the cage. Um, but then there you go. Right? So you can take a square piece of copper, cut it, you know, if you have a laser, uh, put a hole in the center, slap it on there, and let it spin. You know, put the knob on and let it spin. And I would put tiny pieces of wood on the copper because that's the insulator that smooths out the, the frequencies. And you could even brilliantly take some tiny uh, quartz crystals because quartz crystals has a property of pressurized electricity. And when you're spinning something, that puts pressure on it. And that sends out the, the, uh, the quartz crystal's energy uh, to the copper. Um, and so that's what they use with uh, cigarette lighters. They put a little quartz in there, you know, a little dust, and you flick it and it creates a flame because there's enough of a spark from it due to the pressure of the friction of the, of the cigarette lighter. And it lights, it lights up the, the fuel that's in there. So if you got, these are upgrades, you don't have to do them, but why not? You get a piece of copper, put a little piece of uh, quartz crystal on it, pointing outwards. I would put it outwards, and uh, and then little pieces of wood. Don't they don't have to be big? You know, glue them on there. Glue the crystal on there. Let it dry for about three hours so that they don't go flying off. And you've got yourself an electric culture that is so cheap, so so cheap. You know, I don't know how much a square of copper would cost, but you know, you can get it right away, and you can drill a hole in it. Um, you know, it's metal, see, but you can, I think you could take a nail and beat on it maybe and make it, and then put a drill in there, you know, a cop, a, a drill it out, I think. I'm not sure, but uh, might, and maybe you need a diamond head, I don't know. But uh, you can make it, and like I say, if it's square, it's just fine. It's just fine, and then you can get, you know, for the amount of money that you would spend on one disc, you can get multiple discs or squares that are rotating that you've cut, you know, somehow uh, to make them work. And if it gets hard, you know, if the way you're cutting was hard to do, I don't worry about it too much. You know, if you get a couple cuts in there, little cuts, it's still a huge, you know, it's spinning. So, and, and the fact that it's got corners on it, it's probably going to generate, it's going to throw off some energy anyway. So that's really cool. So all these things you can do to, to get your heartfelt energizers. We can do this any, any way, anywhere in the world. You know, if, if, even in some of the most impoverished places, we can do this. Just the biggest expense would be the fan, I would imagine. 
and then the copper. So, uh, you know, but still, you can, it's, it's incredible. We can have gardens of Eden, uh, you know, before, before Labor Day. <laughs> and it's, Labor Day, I think, is only a couple weeks away. <laughs> so, well, thanks for listening to my fuzzy self. And, uh, oh, by the way, there's more information in my book. Is there a question that heals instantly? And I want you to know that the, the question is 10 to 100 times more powerful than all of these powerful uh, heartfelt energizers that you're making. It truly is, because you're going you're gonna to heal the uh, traumas in your life. The little things that bother you from day to day, you can, you can take care of them. If they bother you, you can take care of them. I had a blow up with somebody yesterday, and I remembered the question. And, and then I realized it was what I needed to do, regardless of whatever, was to get the loving kindness and, and in question format. And when, I, when she called me on the phone, I tell her, I said, I was thinking about you. She said, oh, what were you thinking? And I said, well, you no matter what goes on, the important thing is to get the loving kindness. She was so touched by that that it just smoothed out everything. And, and then so, all right? So, you know, get the book. It's got it's got the powerhouse in it. It really does. You're gonna have the you're gonna have your heart friend energizers going anyway. So why not get the glory of them all of it all? Thank you so much. It's on Amazon. I think it's three ninety nine for uh, uh, the ebook. The paperback has some stuff written on the back. It's seven ninety five. It's very powerful on the back. So it's up to you. You know, whatever your budget is. Do yourself a favor and get that. Thank you so much. You take care and God bless.